welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a what's in my musical theatre bag for like rehearsals and stuff. Um, later in the year I'll probably be doing like a what's in my show bag because I've got a lot of shows coming up like dance shows and musical theatre shows. Um, the musical theatre show is on one day, well we're doing a few days, then that show closes the next day I've got my dance show. So, you know, it's all going to be a bit stressful, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, excuse, like, the lighting and everything right now. I did have the lighting really good and, like, the angles, but then my um, next-door neighbour was outside and I think he thought I was, like, recording him. So, um, yeah, I had to go for a bit more of a dodgier angle and, yeah. But the lighting was really good, and if he goes back inside, then... Um, I'll switch to the better angles and lighting so yeah basically my ring light broke um so that's what I used to like record and my lighting and stuff but yeah now it's broken I'm just having to use like the natural light so yeah <laughs> yeah let's crack on into the video hi right, so yeah he's um gone back in I'm slightly scared that I'm like scared him off or something like you probably thought I was like a stalker like <laughs> But no, I was just trying to film a YouTube video for you all lovely people. This is my musical theatre bag. It is a Blood Brothers bag from when I went to Blood Brothers. Um, so I just thought it'd be perfect for musical theatre. Um, now you might be thinking, this doesn't look too secure. It's a very good musical theatre bag for fitting all your stuff in. But basically my musical theatre is a three minute walk away from my house. So like, you know, I'm not walking like miles and miles and travelling miles just to get there like this is perfect because I'm just walking round the corner and then I am there. Um, I feel like if I was going a further distance though then I probably would take a backpack just because it's a lot easier um, for long distances like my dance class that's a longer distance that's probably like it's two buses it's probably like a 40 minute journey so I take a backpack just because it's so much easier to like commute but three minute walk away from my house that bag is perfect but excuse my chair's a bit squeaky um the first thing in here is my water bottle it's a bit wet because it was just sort of like drying and then but I needed to use it for this video so yeah it's my six musical water bottle and it's just perfect it's really big i don't know how much it um 70 mil so this pretty much lasts me a whole rehearsal and it's perfect so yeah and it's six so yeah that's great um then obviously i take my phone but i'm recording with that right now so can't really show you that but then the next thing is my oh no it's all getting tangled up my wireless headphones these are really pretty, they are a pink colour and yeah, these are perfect for when like my teacher will say oh Jessica just gone practice, you're solo in the corner or because I'm choreographing a dance in this show or um, yeah, so these are perfect for just going into a corner like drowning out the rest of the noise in the room or songs or whatever, just putting my own music on and yeah. Now, um, I would recommend if you are like a dancer getting wireless headphones or like airpods or whatever just because obviously if you have the wire and then your phone you could like I don't know I've tried it I got like strangled with it well I didn't get strangled that's a big stream but you know I got it like tangled around my neck tangled around my arms my phone was like flying everywhere because that's like I either have to hold my phone or put it in my pocket or just whatever so I would really recommend wireless headphones and these are only £12 from B&M so and they work really well and I think they have up to like 7 hours um, battery charge so these are actually really good and they've saved my life so much um, so the next thing is my iPhone charger basically because I'm putting my own music on say when I'm doing my headphones um, when I'm using my headphones so sometimes my battery is running low because I've been using it like the rest of the day or whatever but yeah I just think this is really good um yeah I don't know I haven't got much to say it's a phone charger the next thing is a pencil case um now in here I mean I just take this out of my school bag put it in my musical theatre bag take it back to my school bag so 
obviously you don't have to have this much stuff but i think a pencil like this is just always good for like writing notes um highlighting words highlighting song lyrics you know whatever um now this year i've actually done my um script in two different colors i've done my words in pink and then like stage directions and songs in a blue color so yeah that's how i'm rolling and then just pens pencils yeah i just think that's a really good thing to have and a lot of times people will be like oh jessica can i borrow your highlight and i'm like yeah i've got four which color do you want woo um so yeah that's always great then another thing i've got are fluffy socks um now i actually always forget to take these like when I remember, though, they saved my life. Just say when you're going through lines, if you just sing your song and your feet get really cold because you're not moving around. Um, yeah, I just love my fluffy socks for me to cut it. So it's a bit of a random one. I wouldn't say it's like a need, but I like it. So yeah. <laughs> the next thing is this bag. And this bag just holds like body sprays um i really like this spray at the minute it's a skinny dip um peach body mist and this is so good just for like musical theater so you know you're not choking everyone with your scent but at the same time it's just like a nice like refreshing scent it smells of peaches and then a deodorant is always a good thing to have because obviously i do a lot of dance in musical theater so i'm constantly sweating my head off just hand sanitizer, hand cream, lip balm, all that sort of stuff. I pretty much always have chap lips, so <laughs> constantly needing to use that lip balm. Then the next thing are my dance knee pads. Now these are ooh, Capizio knee pads. Um, these are just a lifesaver because I'm dancing Monday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. So by Thursday, my knees can get pretty bruised. So obviously dancing, I need some support there and these just help loads and prevent bruises and yeah they are great um they're also good for if you're trying out like a new move and you're not too sure how to do it yet so at the minute i've got to do this move where i drop onto my knees so and because i'm not that great at it yet and haven't really got the gist and i'm just sort of like dropping to the floor these have been a lifesaver for not like damaging my knees while i'm just practicing so yeah these are really good um, again, wouldn't say it was like a need, but I personally like them because I am a dancer. So yeah. Um, now onto dance shoes. Now these are my jazz shoes. These are block dance shoes. I think I was thinking of doing another video on like all the dance shoes I have, like reviews and stuff, because I'm quite a lot of dance shoes. So yeah, <laughs> and I've been through quite a lot of pairs. Now I've been wearing these at the minute because in my um, musical that I'm doing at, at the minute we're doing jazz and like contemporary so these are like a really good all rounder shoe for both because yeah they're just you can still point your toe in them and like articulate your foot and stuff um, but yeah they're just good for both jazz and contemporary however um, some shoes that I wore like last time these ones and these are i would say these are much more of a jazz shoe um yeah they have a lot more like a thicker sole like they almost sound like a tap shoe like um so yeah but obviously these are a lot more chunkier so they don't look as graceful for, like contemporary and stuff so i haven't been taking these with me however if i ever end up doing a musical where it's just jazz based i'd probably take these because yeah I don't know I probably would but the minute these are perfect because yeah they just are <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying um and then also I've been carrying my tap shoes around with me because I do a tap solo in this show so obviously need me tap shoes to do a tap dance but yeah I don't usually carry these around with me if I'm not doing a tap dance because yeah I forgot to mention these are block tap shoes. Yeah, they just do the job. They're really comfortable as well. Now, um, these are the last two things. The 
This one is just a whole load of songs I have sang with my singing teacher because I just like to carry this around because I never know when my musical theatre teacher is going to be like, oh Jessica, I don't like you singing this song anymore, please can you sing another song? And I'll just be like, which one do you want? I can sing all of these. Um, so yeah. I just keep it in a folder because I think this is just a good way to keep it together and then when I'm auditioning for like college and stuff and I've got to audition I can just look through and think which song do I want to sing I can sing all these know all the lyrics and yeah this will also come in handy for probably like university auditions like drama school auditions I can't keep it still and it's also really glary but yeah I think this is just like a good thing to have for me because I also sing um now the last thing which is probably the most important thing in this bag is my script now at the minute we're doing a show called be alive because the place where i go is called be amazed so you know she's just trying to keep in with the bee theme there but it's basically about a load of like toys coming alive however they're under a spell of maleficent um and i play the role of the director so i sort of have to all the toys don't really know how to act properly they're still like working out all the body parts so i sort of tell them like how to act um and stuff because i'm the director um so yeah we're only a month into rehearsals so yeah so i have the script in one plastic wallet and then my lyrics in another and i feel like this is really good i prefer to separate the two just so that when she's like oh we're singing this song i don't have to be like flicking through my script it's just all in one lyric place so yeah and that is my bag empty hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and press the like button also if you prefer videos like this just let me know or if you want to see any more videos just comment them and i can hopefully do them like I know this channel is called musical covers however I'm not too confident at doing covers just on my own in my house one because the sound isn't as good especially because like I'm much more, much more of a higher singer so sometimes the highest notes don't really sound very good on my phone also you can hear the traffic and yeah I'd rather just stick to like my singing teacher like recorded something with me because she has all the professional like mics and sound systems and everything and then i'd probably post it on here however i haven't recorded anything yet other than my cd which you can still buy there's about two cds left now so yeah buy them or you can get an online download i'll just i'll leave a link to like the last video either up here if I figure out how to do it or down below and then you can just see how to buy it so yeah bye everyone